Tragedy hits Tarpon Springs. An officer killed in the line of duty as a community remembers 45-year-old Charles Kondek. 10 News is learning new information about this deadly shooting. This all started Sunday morning. Investigators say that Officer Kondek was responding to a noise complaint at an apartment complex on Grand Boulevard when he was shot and then he was run over. We have 10 News team coverage tonight. Let's start with Kendra Conlin live at the Tarpon Springs Police Department. And Kendra, a big show of support tonight for Officer Condon. Absolutely, and the officer's family is so grateful for this outpouring of support. As you can imagine, his wife is devastated as well as his six kids. I'm told they had been looking forward to celebrating Christmas. It's his favorite holiday. Now they're planning his funeral. His widow works for the Pasco County Clerk's Office and is still too distraught to talk, but her boss is actually speaking on the family's behalf tonight. He was a loving husband and devoted father. As a law enforcement officer, he served with compassion and worked hard to keep our community safe. We are shocked and devastated by this tragedy that has taken Charlie away from us. Flowers, cards, and prayers. For love is the fulfilling of the law. Help the community mourn the loss of beloved officer Charles Kondek. I am just completely devastated by the um, loss to his family, especially being around the holidays. He was our neighborhood cop. He really was. Ron Rogers can't hold back the tears of grief. Excuse me. Rogers supplies the bulletproof vest to the Tarpon Springs Police Department. Officer Conduct had been wearing one when he was shot and killed. The bullet hit right above it. There's no guarantees. It just underscores the danger they face day in, day out. He's definitely going to be missed. Tarpon Springs Police Officer Kevin Lang reflects on the impact conduct had on the community and the impact this show of support now means to the department. It's awesome. You know, words can't describe you know, what it is. So it's uh, the, the support and, and everything that we've gotten has been tremendous, very overwhelming. I just feel for that family like it, like it was my own family. I really do. And I hope that they know that we are all here as a community to help and support them. And the family is grateful for this support as well as for the first responders who tried to save the officer but couldn't. Now I can tell you I've been looking through his personnel file today and it is filled with accolades from the community and commendations from his department. He will truly be remembered as a hero. I'm in Tarpon Springs, Kendra Conlin, 10 News.